Hey guys, Jane Bishon here with another episode of The Outer Worlds. Today we are going back to the ship. Going to talk to Parvati one last time, hopefully. Check on some things on the ship. I think we need to view the distress signal on my ship. Um, that's a different planet. Travel to that's a different planet. I can review this uh, has, uh, asbestos, I want to call it, mining archive on Hawthorne's terminal. That's a different planet. That's what we're doing. And then that's on Roseway. So Roseway, I think is where we're going next. When I was looking at these, there's a lot of Roseway. Two Roseways. And then I think there's also another Roseway I'm just missing. So let's talk to Parvati, check out some things on the ship. And then we'll be heading out to Roseway. Well, I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. What does that mean, Ada? What have you been doing? Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Glad to hear, Parvati. I wouldn't mind having a drink again. Someday. In the distant future. Anyway. I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, not so bad so far. Not to ask for spoilers, but will we be drinking again tonight? <laughs> I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. Ooh. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Ooh. So Junlei does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. The Isabel Crisis was all a big misunderstanding. Uh, glad we wasted time drinking because Julie's bad at writing messages. If you two marry, you'll be saying, haha, just kidding, unless you're not. What does that even mean? Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. Jeez. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. But anyhow... Thanks for taking me out, Captain. Oh, young love, Parvati. Young love. You're welcome. Alright. So... Let's see. I need to interpret a message. Distress signal. View. Where do I do that? Cool. Ada's gonna help me out. Look at her. She's just waiting. Just waiting to help me out. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Picked up the distress call. Can you play it back for me? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Von Cortez, and Orson Shaw. I mean, everything seemed pretty, I don't know, standard to me. Fun Friday night. What's the problem? I have lots of minutes. Many minutes. Unlimited minutes, perhaps. Providing an adequate power source, I can function in depth. Okay, yeah. Well, what if you don't have a power I source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? Wow. Is that a zinger? When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. 
traveling the system with you, Captain. Aw, Ada. Did you miss your last captain, or there's one captain the same as another? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our travels together, Alex liked to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. We both know I'm not Alex Hawthorne, right? Uh, let's do that. Oh, I know you are not the same Captain Alex Hawthorne who died in Emerald Vale due to excessive internal and external bleeding. Very I am required you to assume Hawthorne's identity in order to sync your commands to my interpretation protocol. I've since registered you as the captain of the Unreliable. You're welcome to continue lying about your identity if you wish, but I know the truth. Don't sass me, Ada. If there have been any other captains in the ship, let's talk about something else. You're a very strange computer, but I like you, Ada. I am relieved to hear it, Captain. If you mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? <laughs> oh my yes, God. he was. Uh, I love this game. All right, that's all for now, Ada. Thank you. So we can go to the Roseway now. I feel like there's something else I needed to do before. Track down Cheney, President Cheney, Vicar Maximus. Acid steepers on Roseway. Find that guy. Secrets. Unleashes weapons from the void. Acquires. Science weapon. Review the. Okay. On Hawthorne's terminal, which is in our captain's quarters. So let's do the captain's quarters. We will review whatever this is. Messages for J. Ambition. From Blaine. This is just to let you know that I've given out the rest of that you know what to the you know who's. Sorry for the secrecy. You never really know who's reading these things. I appreciate you giving me the time of the day. You risked your neck heading into that community center. I'm grateful, but I'd also appreciate it if you never told another soul about our business. I like my job. I should like to keep it. Okay, so I, at first I had no clue who this Esther was, but it's uh, who we gave the drugs from. So we got all the drugs from the community center. Decided not to give it to the crazy guy staring at the wall. Gave it to her. She gave it to um, the sick house. Which is interesting because the sick house was locked down after the power went out. And you couldn't even get into the sick house. So I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical of her. She probably sold it on the black market. Alright. This is what we were supposed to look at. Weapons from the void. Review the mine. Acquire Finnis' science weapon. Acquire the science weapon on Cilia. Cilia? Okay, so this really just tells us that there's something called the Rearranger. Captain told Harris something called the Rearranger, then left before we discovered the damn thing that doesn't work. Only thing it rearranged is the number of bits on Harris's car. It looks like some strange tech or a weapon. Maybe a scientist can make something of it. Uh, result number two, Doc Caulfield. You can call him Doc Cauliflower. Couldn't save Lem. Now I gotta arrest Harris for his murder. Confiscated that weapon he used and stored it in Birdie's office for now. Figure the least the site supervisor can do is fill out the forms. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Don't know how I'm gonna... Detain Harris now like we got prisons not like we got prison cells on the rock. Okay, so it sounds like we found the location of another science weapon. <clears throat> I always hit escape to get out of the computers and it's uh it's tab for whatever reason. It drives me nuts, but let's um let's let's break down all these weapons we don't need while I'm in here. And then our journal. I think we're ready to go to Roseway, guys. Acid Steeper is on Roseway. Tracking down Cheney. That's different, right? Fallbrook Monarch. Find Captain Erion on Cilia. So it sounds like we have two things on Cilia. We have this and then a science weapon. Roseway. Secrets on Roseway for Gladys. So that's two... Okay, three things at Roseway, so I think that's where we're going to go. Let's equip, oh, you can equip all of these guys because we're not in a party with them right now. 
He looks so good with that helmet on. It's only two armor, but can't do it, man. I gotta leave it on him. Engineering plus 15? That's huge. You're all ready to go. Vicar Max. <clears throat> Let's, um... I'll leave that on you for now, Vicar. Ellie, did I give you anything? Not really. Okay. I think I'm going to stick with Felix. I don't know why I said it like that. Felix and Pravati. And... Oh, I didn't mean to take that. Let's transfer. Let's see what we can put in here. We're already at 70 out of 80. Which I think is really good. 70 out of 100 once we... <clears throat> once we pick up two companions and move along. I should try upgrading some of these weapons as well. I don't need the standard tube helmet. I'm going to keep the goggles just in case there's an engineering mission we run across. And we need more engineering to do it. Um, I should have sold all this stuff. We'll just store it. I don't think there's a max in the bin you can put. So we'll Store it all the way. Jeez, that's a lot of stuff. I'm taking it from the player, right? Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay, that was a lot of stuff. Also, I just want to keep one of these attachments per. So we'll go down to one here. So as long as I have it, and if I feel like I need another one, I can check what I have here in the bin. Save some weight, my character build. I think they're a half pound each, so it adds up after you get a number of them. And keep all those because I don't think they weigh anything. Yeah, zero, zero, zero. <clears throat> okay. Let's go to Roseway, shall we? Am I gonna am I gonna avoid the mission by going to talk to people? Now nah, let's go to Roseway. Roseway, where are you? Is it Terra? Terra Roseway, okay. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Brilliant. Let's go mess with our weapons we real quick. Oh my goodness, more Ellie? Alright, let's talk to Ellie first. This Roseway business smells. Something tells me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. And whoever or whatever got him will be waiting for us. That's um very perceptive of you, I guess. I mean, did you did you notice him screaming? Is that is that where you picked that from? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. With a lot of these companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you doesn't exactly encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up the language ellie someone needs help ellie and we're gonna give it to them could be a trap i'm counting on it yeah ellie. anyway we might as well take a look out there see if we can get the jump on whoever's waiting for us that sounds great ellie you um you stay here okay all right let's see I think it's going to cost a lot to upgrade the gun. Yeah, so I've already upgraded these enough. 435, 756, 81. So let's upgrade this. 170, we can afford that. 314, that's probably where it stops. 566, yeah, I'll wait. <clears throat> it is interesting. So even if you get a higher leveled item like this, it does start at the lower bit amount to upgrade it because you haven't upgraded it yet, but it does uh, exponentially grow. So it's, I guess what I'm trying to get to is it's, uh, it's beneficial to find high level items out in the field and then upgrade them versus taking a level seven all the way to level 17. It'd be really expensive. <clears throat> These items here are assigned the Montag, like that is assigned to Felix. So I'm gonna upgrade that. That's fine. Plus he's got plasma damage, which I like. So I'm trying to differentiate the damage types. And I've been debating about doing a video on damage types. So if that's something that interests you guys, let me know. I would, uh, I'd be willing to make that video. 
I think Parvati has this. It'd be nice if they had some kind of information here on who actually is wielding the weapon. You know, because if it's just sitting around and I have two grenade launchers, why would I upgrade it? But I think this is Parvati's. We'll upgrade that as well. 680 is a little much there. <clears throat> I don't think anybody has that. Plasma rifle. I really just want to break that down. Auto mag pistol? That looks pretty good. DPS is high. I just don't know who has that right now. I'm guessing Ellie has that attached. I know that Felix has the toss ball stick attached. Or equipped, I should say. Shock cannon is something I have. Shock stick is something I have. I can get rid of the shock stick. Can you upgrade the hammer? Ooh. Okay. This is level 9. 14. <clears throat> I, I feel like this should be good. I'm going to try this again. <laughs> I used it against uh, pork chops. The pyro pork chop. And he, uh, he demolished me because I had 20 guys. But I feel like it's a science weapon and it does a bunch of different damages. It should do well. But we'll give it one more shot. Plus my two-handed melee, which this is a two-handed melee weapon, is very low. So I'm just not a melee character. But I mean, when you compare 104 to... 298 that's huge all right let's repair everything here that we're using let's break down some of the stuff uh, shock stick yeah, we don't need the shock stick i think that's what we got for the mission yeah let's break that down <clears throat> we can keep the hammer for now i think these two are assigned to uh Cerulius maximus Yes, I know that's not his name. All right, let's modify then. Can I do anything new with my rifle shotgun? What time barrel, whisper, quiet muzzler, which I think I have both of those on here already. Current barrel mod. No. I can change the damage type. I currently have the magnum on it anyway, so I think that's fine. Let's look at my sniping rifle, aka okay, hunting rifle. Currently have the mag numb on it, which I think yeah, increases the magazine size versus changing the damage type. <clears throat> yeah, nothing there. The gyro sight. The euro sight, I like to call it. I got the extendo sight already on it. Okay. Well, I think we're good for now then. See, I mean, I could put something on this. I just don't know if I want to use this or the hammer yet. Speed grip. I can speed, or I can swing faster. Sheer grip. Helps my durability. Attack increases the damage dealt from a power attack. Mr. N, N-Ray. I've heard N-Ray damage is really, really good. Um, but I think I'm going to save that for a weapon I know I'm going to use a lot. Check armor real quick. I think this, yeah, this is what I put on. Toughened. Increases body armor and helmet armor ratings against physical damage. Gadget. Mod stuns and damages melee attackers. This effect has a cooldown. There's a lot of cool mods on this. I'm just, yeah. I just feel like the second I do that, I'm going to find better armor out here. So, let's get rolling. Let's go check out Roseway. <clears throat> We're going to bring Parvati and Felix. Okay. No guard, huh? I like this place already. Let's reload all of our weapons, since uh, it's almost certain we're going to be running into things here. We'll check the outskirts for anything cool. Maybe they hit some chests back here. Hopefully not get taken out by our, our ship's booster back here. 
Anti Cleos. Interesting. Ooh, here we go. Stand aside, lock down, that's okay. Really, I got a duck to go underneath these. That's why you gotta check everywhere in this game. Stuff everywhere. It's not like it's amazing stuff though, you know. I'm sure you do just fine in this game without it. But every now and then I feel like there's something that, you know, helps you a lot. I like the old reliable, finding that gun in the cave next to a guy. Pretty helpful. These are a lot of vending machines. I think I already got rid of all my junk. Anything back here. A lot of overgrowth. Seems like nobody's touched anything out here for a while. Let's follow uh, our path here. Ooh, that was creepy. Something chewed clear through that armor. Elite troop armor? Jeez. Felix. Change your armor. Block stealth skills. It's gotta be heavy, right? Heavy, yeah. Okay. Ooh, look at you. What a beast of a moon man you are. Alright. Definitely some sketchiness going on here. Waiting for something just to pop out and attack me. Look up the old reliable now that uh, I'm in closer range here, combat wise. <clears throat> Go to the back side of this. I don't see anything. Check out up here. There we go. There's a chest. And then we'll go back down that side street there. Spaceship. Nothing else. I think I can get up there. Maybe I can. No. Okay. It's very, very quiet. Guy's been evicted, poor guy. Stun baton 276, wow. We'll take that. Let's see if we can put that on. Our body has a hammer that does half that damage. We're gonna break that hammer down. Can't open that, they've been evicted. Oop, I see red triangles. It's going to sneak mode. Got it. Down. <clears throat> I'll make sure I don't lose track of what I've already covered here. Something in here. Oh, it's that thing. It's sleeping. I'm, I'm literally standing right on top of the thing. And I'm like, hmm, I wonder if there's something in this house. Well. Okay, if that didn't wake him up, I don't know what will. I've been waiting for this! Wow, not even a wow. Impressive. Um, yeah. I must have really good sneak because... I was so loud. <laughs> Just crawling, walking right over the top of him. I wonder if there's something in here. Alright. Old journal. Dad, I'm writing this on the odds that you found your way back here. I'm sorry I wasn't here to see you. They're moving us out of town. All of us. I don't know where we're going. Hoping that wherever it is, they've got a lab as nice as Roseways. We we're doing some good work. Real science for once. I don't know why they're moving us, and I don't know when we'll see each other again. And Dad, do me a favor and burn this journal. I'm not allowed to even mention their name, Roseway. As far as corporate's concerned, this town never existed. I don't want to get in trouble. Super sketch, right? Super sketch. Let's just grab everything we can here and then keep going down the road towards Roseway. No 
Oh, is that robot over here too? Clear, 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 clear the roadway. Obstru obstruction of commerce is punishable by a fine of no, no, no less than ten, ten, ten thousand bits. I think the, uh, the machine is broken. Stuck on the Reptidion. <laughs> That's how you say it. <laughs> Uh, that's funny. Assault rifle, we get rid of that. Break it down, break it down now, break it, break it down. Let's see, 14, that's weak. Get rid of that. Anyone here yet? No, it's locked. Nothing really around to, uh, to catch us and say stop breaking into this house, so. We will pick up all of these attachments and some cartridges. Organic, organic materials detected on road. Ooh, what's that? Is that it? Ooh, there's one right here. I love a good frog. We're the best there ever was. Dang, that was a big one. I gotta go check I it like out. About you, boss. You're content with the beaten path. Thanks. Once again, I'm I'm the worst. Like, I'll beat an enemy and then uh, I'll just totally forget where they were. It's not a good thing. It's like hunting and then you know not using the deer meat. You know, it's pretty bad. Um. Yep. Evicted. Evicted. Hey, that gunfire. Wow. What happened to you guys? Sounds like gunfire inside. <clears throat> Good thing about being a, a video game is, uh, you know, I don't think it's time-based. So either time we walk in there, I'm pretty sure there's still gonna be a gunfight going on. With that known, I'm gonna loot everything I can. Back behind here. I check you already. Oops, cartridges. Scientists, scientists, scientists. Everywhere. Reptidion. <clears throat> okay. Can anybody guess what my urge is to do before I go on Roseway? It's to loot the entire exterior of Roseway first. Congrats on whoever guessed that. That's a crit. Where's your friends at? I feel like I hear them, but how didn't they hear that? I shoot after he's already dead. All right, let's keep going around the edge. I just want the loot. I don't want to hurt those uh, or hunt those poor things every time. There's more. See, pick up toughen. I don't even know what that is, but look at that. That's a green one. Spitter. Here we go. Oh, spit slime at me. Dirty rot. It's like acid. Oh, that had to hurt. Wow. We're gonna get in some good fights out here, I can already tell. Look at the green. Look at the green animations and stuff. That's just sweet. Alright. 
keep making our way around. Got a lot of gel in these parts. There's another weird thing. I saw a lizard back there too. That's a big one. Oh, hello there. Burns. No, Felix. Yeah, these guys are good. I mean, we're doing pretty good against them, but they're fast. And if they have like the long-term effects, like the poison and all that, it's gonna be tough. And I'm guessing we haven't faced the worst of them yet. So, all right, we made a full circle, <laughs> and it's about that time. We're gonna end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to be going into... What's this place called? Time out. Hold the phone. Roseway! So, thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode of The Outer Worlds. I'm excited to see you on the next uh, episode, and we will take on some missions for Roseway. Peace!